After getting severe backlash for not providing enough VRAM, Nvidia is finally taking steps to improve its RTX 40 GPUs. But it might be too late for now. Or even if it isn't, there seems to be a couple of major problems Nvidia is likely to face when it launches its mid-range RTX 40 GPUs. Furthermore, this new step might force Nvidia to take some weird routes that can make a total mess in the RTX 40 lineup. This is why Nvidia needs to understand the needs of gamers rather than its own. Let's see what is going on behind the scenes, but before that make sure to subscribe to never miss any such updates in the future. We already know that RTX 4060 GPUs including both TI and the non-TI editions are going to feature 8GB of VRAM. As 8GB is not cutting it, Nvidia has realized that the RTX 40 GPUs, particularly the 4060 Ti, might end up getting totally dead on the shelves if people don't buy it for $400 plus dollars. This is why it has now decided to launch another edition of this card featuring 16GB of total VRAM capacity. The leak comes from Mega Size GPU, who said that a new 4060 Ti with 16GB is also added to the roster, and now there are a total of three different 4060 GPUs that are planned to launch in the next few months. Unfortunately, the 16GB edition is not going to be released before July and the same goes for 4060. Even though all three GPUs are going to be announced this month, only the 8GB edition of the 4060 Ti will be launched first. I believe that Nvidia is deliberately doing this in order to test the market and see if 8GB edition succeeds or not. However, the biggest problem Nvidia is going to face is pricing. As it was already rumored that the 4060 Ti with 8GB is going to launch for $400 to $450, seeing the community's reaction, it is likely that Nvidia is going to launch this GPU for no more than $350. This will also make it easier for Nvidia to launch the 16GB edition for $450 as it becomes more appealing than the $600 4070. GPU. However, there are still a few problems that can't be fixed. Number one is the small memory bus width of 128-bit bus on the 4060 Ti, which is absolutely horrible to have on a 16GB GPU. This only gives it a little advantage over the 8GB edition as the memory bandwidth remains the same. The advantage is that now in games that require more than 8GB VRAM, the frequent stuttering will be eliminated. But asking $100 more just for this is still a very dumb thing a company can do. Number two is that Nvidia will now need to lower the price of 4060 even further. This actually will not be a customer's problem but will instead go against Nvidia. If I am not wrong, Nvidia was probably preparing the 4060 for 330 to 350 dollars but there is simply no chance that Nvidia can now price it more than 270 or 280 dollars. And if it does then it is going to be another 4070. And number 3 which is probably my biggest concern is how it is going to justify the 12GB VRAM on the 4070. This GPU is already dead and now it looks even more stupid when the 4060 Ti is coming with more memory. The only way now to make 4070 appealing again is to increase its VRAM. The problem however is that it features a bus width of 192 bit which is a big problem for Nvidia as the 4070 cannot have 16GB of VRAM. The only solution is to change its GPU chip and this is exactly what Copite just tweeted that the 4070 can have a version based on AD103 which is the chip used in the RTX 4080. This will give 4070 a 256-bit memory bus and the 4070 can finally have 16GB of VRAM. But this further escalates the problem for Nvidia because even if it increases the production cost for 4070, it cannot be priced at more than $600. That said, users who have already bought 4070 12GB are definitely going to be felt betrayed by that. But this is how it is. Considering how it is going, I think Nvidia won't be able to price the RTX 4050 for more than $200 and it must price it even lower because there are several options available for $200 to $250 that would make the 4050 stand on the same platform as the 3050. And lastly, a new report confirms that Intel Meteor Lake is indeed coming to the desktop. As found in the latest Linux 6.3 patch, Intel Meteor Lake S desktop was added to the support list, which is a clear indication that Intel is definitely coming with MTL on both laptop and desktop platforms. What this means is that desktop users can finally use the first system on chip processors which would probably benefit gamers the most. This is because Meteor Lake CPUs will come with a dedicated graphics tie which according to the latest leak by MLID will compete with AMD Phoenix APUs. 
That means we can get gaming performance closer to GTX 1650 which is a solid budget GPU for 1080p gaming. And this is just for a laptop Meteor Lake CPU that is rated at 45 watts. On the desktop we are going to have 5 different CPUs that provide up to 6 plus 16 cores config rated at up to 125 watts of TDP. So more headroom for overclocking and stuff that can make a significant impact in the budget gaming segment. Now we finally await the support for Windows operating systems but there is no doubt that even on Linux things can be as good as Windows OS. And this video right here shows how a processor like 7800X3D benefits more from Linux in a majority of the applications and even competes decently in gaming as well. Lastly, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And I will see you in the next one.